What is going on fellas welcome to David Credit Nation my name is Shobhadro and today we are going to do something unprecedented so many a times you have seen that there are clients requirement that you need to post some FI document or FICA document into SAP but you cannot post it manually the information the details of those FICA document the attributes are coming from outside it might be coming as an API or an IDOC or maybe via an Excel upload from the interface we need an ABAP program via which the transaction the document will be posted so for that we go to an ABAPR and we ask them that hey we need to post a document using this, this information please write a custom program so for such documents it can be single or it can be mass it can be uh, like reading from a file which is containing of uh, hundreds of line items posting the document or it can be a real-time document posting so for that SAP has given us a BAPI via which we can post the document be it FICA or in FICO so we are going to show you how you can use the standard SAP BAPI so all you need to do ask the ABAPA to copy the standard SAP BAPI and create their own and the information like for a particular document posting in FICO you need the GL account, debit amount, document type, document date, posting date, company code all these things you need to supply to the ABAPA and the ABAPA will copy the standard BAPI. Today we are going to show you how you can post a FICA document or FICO document using that standard BAPI. So I'll start with FICO first. The BAPI you can see at AC 37 and this is my BAPI for FICO document. Now before executing the BAPI let me show you what tables this BAPI contains. So click on display. So in FICO you can post three types of document mainly. It can be GL to GL document or it can be customer document or it can be a vendor document. So I'm going to show you all three in FICO and similarly at the end I'm going to show you one FICA document using another BAPI. So for all document you must fill the header of the document. An FI document contains two part one header and multiple line item. So first I'm going to populate the header so click on this import. And here you'll see the header. So you need to populate the required fields in the header table first. Once you fill the header table, then you come back and click on this table step. There you can see if you want to post a GL document, you need to fill up the GL account item. If you need to post the customer document. So remember in customer invoice, the accounting entry is customer account debit and revenue account credit. So in that case, one GL item and one customer item you need to fill up. Similarly for vendor invoice, one vendor item and one GL item you need to fill up. And finally, you need to put the amounts in the currency items. So without any further ado, let's see and post these documents. Come back and then execute the function module. I have created variants. So first I'm going to show you how to post a GL document. This is my document header. Click on this single entry and you'll see the required fields I have already filled up. So I have filled up my user ID, then header text, company code, document date, posting date, fiscal year, fiscal period you don't need to field. SAP is going to derive the fiscal period from the posting date. Then document type. So that is for the header item. Then since this is a GL to GL item, so both my line item will be in GL. So get inside. So I have created two GL. So select the first line and click on single entity. So these are the information I have fed into the system. So this is my line item number one. Then GL account I have fed. This is optional. You can put an item text or you can skip it blank. So I have just put the item text and the company code, fiscal period, posting date I have filled here. Then scroll down so it's a balance sheet item i may skip the cost object so i did not put any cost center or profit center i have put the credit indicator here debit credit indicator and amount you don't need to fill up so that's it my gl item number one is populated then go to the gl item number two select and click on single entry so this is my profit and loss account everything remains the same apart from that i need to enter a cost object so I have entered my cost center here. So from cost center, profit center will be derived. And again, I need to enter the debit credit indicator. This time it is debit. So my both the GL items are ready. Now come back and click on the currency amount. See, I have not entered the amounts in the GL. So in order to enter the amount, you need to come here in the currency amount structure. Here, you just put the amount. 
my debit item is 30 and my credit item is minus 30. So with that, let's try to post and see whether it will, this BAPI will actually post a financial document or not. Click on execute. So it says that in the object key, it says that this document has been generated. Now let's see whether this document is actually generated or not. So this is my document number. Go to slash O FB 03. Enter the document number, then company code and fiscal year. You will not find the document. If you click on enter, you will see document does not exist. Why? It says the document number is this, but the document does not exist because BAPIs have some serious commitment issue. They are in love with somebody, but they will never propose and they'll never ask them to get married. They never settle down. That means in SAP, the document is not actually posted. They need a commit. So for that, come out of it before executing any function module, you just need to click on more function module then execute then test sequence so first you will enter the function module which is going to post the accounting document which is BAPI SEC document post and then you will add one commitment so I have already taken yes so BAPI transaction commit so copy and enter here along with the BAPI SEC doc post the BAPI transaction commit will also take place and with this commit, the document will actually get posted. Let's try that. I'm going to click on test data directory and clicking GL documents. Now I'm going to click on execute. All right. So it has given me a number, but it will not post yet. So let me try with this number one all zero 15 is the number. Try and hit enter. So see this document does not exist. Now click the back button. And now this BAPI transaction commit will be executed. Then click on execute. So once this is executed, now go back to FB03 screen and hit enter. You will see that the document is actually generated. So this is my GL to GL document. So whenever you have such kind of requirement, you need to create a variant and give it to the Avapar. And Avapar will call that function module, will call that BAPI SSH document post, and it will create the document. It has the header details and it has the line item details, whatever I have fed into the system. It can be used for real time posting or mass posting by reading from a file. Now that was all about GL document. Let me try to post a AR document now for AR document. The function module remains the same, but I need to add the commit. So function module execute and test sequence. So first is the SSC document post and second is transaction commit. All right. Now again from test data directory. Now this time I'm going to post say AP document. So this is one GL item and one accounts payable item. The header remains the same, whatever I have entered. And this is my GL item. So here there will be one GL item. So this is my GL item. Same information, whatever I have shown you, same thing. And this time, instead of having two GL items, the other line item will be in the accounts payable side. So here, I will enter the vendor number, the number which it is going to hit. That's it. Company code, vendor number. I don't need to enter the reconciliation GL. The BAPI will fetch the reconciliation GL from the vendor master. So that's it. Come back and in the amount, similar way for line item 1, 30 minus is, a, is the credit. And for line item 2, it is going to be my debit. So come back and execute. So again, a number is generated. If I try to see this, this document will not be created actually in the system. So BAPI just checks that what is the next available number range in the document number and it will allocate it to me, but it will not actually post. It says the document does not exist. So again, you need to come back and this time with the BAPI transition commit, then execute. Now your AP document is generated. So the vendor that I entered in my vendor structure that vendor has been copied and the GL item has been copied and this is the header data. Similarly, let me try to post one AR document, which is the last document I'm going to show you in FICO site. So go back and in the test data directory, I now choose AR document. So my header remains the same, which I've been using from the uh, first posting. Here, 
my gl will also be same but this time i am going to use a separate debit credit indicator because in case of a ar invoice the gl is credit so here scroll down so i have put it credit so my gl item is credit but for ap invoice the gl is debit so back then it was s now it is h now come back then on the accounts receivable structure you need to enter the customer number so this is my customer number 96 and this is the information that i have fed into the system and finally i need to enter the amounts so currency amount here i will have the two gls so make sure if your item number is 01 so my 01 is customer because my customer is going to take the debit and revenue which is 02 that is going to take the credit so make sure that your customer line item account number is matching here for example let me quickly show you so my account GL, my GL item is getting the number 02 and for 02, I have entered it as credit. So H. So my line item 02 should be credited. Okay, 02 should be credited. So accordingly, here in the currency amount, I have given 02 as minus that means credit. So if you don't do that, your AR invoice or AP invoice will behave like a credit memo okay anyways you will be able to post it but the behavior will be different now with that i'm going to click on execute so sap has given me a number now just come back and execute with the bappy so bappy has been already executed now let's see so we have posted three documents so go to slash show fb03 and click on document list so here i want to see the documents that i have posted today so th today's entry date is 17th and for fiscal year 2022 let's see what are the documents that got posted so i see three documents are posted sa that was a gl document kr that was a ap document and currently right now i have just posted the ar document which is dr so get inside you will see that customer that i have used and the offsetting gel that i have used so the document gets posted now it's a very handy bappy whenever you want to do automatic posting so all you need to do you create your variant test data directory so you create your test data directory and give it to the abapur and abapur will copy this and will use that variant and create the program so that was all about the fico posting now let's quickly discuss on the FICA posting. Similarly in FICA that is in the sub ledger as well. There is a BAPI given by SAP via which we can also post this kind of automated entry. For example, you want to post a manual posting in FICA which is FPE1. For that, there can be a scenario that somebody is posting an FPE1 document from C4C or CRM. Then also the BAPI gets called. Or if you want to post hundreds of manual posting, then you just need to put the details into an Excel and upload it and this BAPI will read each line item and post the manual document. Let's go to the FICA BAPI which posts accounting document in FICA. The FICA BAPI is BAPI C-Track document create. This is the BAPI. Now before executing I just want to display the tables. So similarly go to the import you will see the header. So this is nothing but DF triple KO structure. So you need to fill up the header structure. In FICA, there are three segments in a FICA document. Header data, in the line item, there is business partner line item and there is a GL line item. All three should be populated. The first item of that is the DF triple curve structure. This is the header data. This is the header table. So you must fill this header structure. Then go to the table step and you will see DFKK OP, DFKK OPK. So DFKK OP is the business partner segment and DFKK OPK is the GL line segment. This is the OP. So you just need to enter the details here and accordingly in the OPK, the relevant details you need to enter. Now let's try to execute this test sequence because I need the BAPI transaction commit. So I'll start with the C track document create and the second one will be the BAPI transaction commit. Now execute. So similar to that, I have already created a test data directory. So this is my test data FICA doc. So first I will fill the header. So this is my header. Uh, like I need a recon key in a real life scenario the developer can uh, refer to 
एफ की इवेंट्स ट्रिपल वन थ्री टू जेनेट द रिकॉन की आई हैव जस्ट हार्ड कोरेट अ रिकॉन की हियर देन आई नीड अ डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप हर कैफ विच इज़ अ सोर्स की सोर्स ऑरिजिन की विच इज़ द जीरो वन फॉर एफ पी ऑन डॉक्यूमेंट्स देन करेंसी डॉक्यूमेंट डेट पोस्टिंग डेट दैट्स इट नाउ कम बैक सो हियर पार्टनर पोजिशन एंड जेनरल लेजर पोजिशन दीज आर द टू पार्टनर पोजिशन रेफर्स टू द बी पी आइटम विच इज़ डी एफ के के ओ पी टेबल एंड जेनरल लेजर पोजिशन इज द जी एल आइटम विच इज डी एफ के के ओ पी के टेबल सो फर्स्ट लेट्स गो टू डी एफ के के ओ पी टेबल गेट इन साइड एंड हियर आई हैव एंटर द सो डॉक्यूमेंट नंबर इट इज नॉट इट जेनेटेड इट विल भी जेनेटेड सो आइटम रिपिटेशन सब आइटम आई हैव गिवेन देन कंपनी कोड बिजनेस पार्टनर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अकाउंट आई डोंट हैव अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट्स वो आई डिड नॉट पुट एनी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इफ यू हैव एनी यू कैन पुट इट एज वेल मेन ट्रांजेक्शन सब ट्रांजेक्शन दैट यू नीड टू पोस्ट द डॉक्यूमेंट एंड रिमेंबर हियर यू नीड टू पास द जी एल अकाउंट फ्रॉम द टी एफ के जीरो थर्टी थ्री टेबल फ्रॉम द मेन सब कम्बिनेशन टेबल यू जस्ट नीड टू पास द बैलेंस शीट जी एल एंड द रेवेन्यू जी एल एज वेल डॉक्यूमेंट डेट पोस्टिंग डेट ड्यू डेट डिस्काउंट ड्यू डेट एंड हियर आई एम एंटरिंग द अमाउंट हियर सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट डी एफ के के ओ पी टेबल सिमिलरली कम बैक एंड जेनरल लेजर पोजिशन इज द डी एफ के के ओ पी के टेबल गेट इन साइट एंड हियर सो आइटम कंपनी कोड जी एल सो हियर आई नीड द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस जी एल सो अगेन एज आई टोल्ड यू बोथ ई के जीरो वन एंड ई के जीरो टू दैट मीन्स बोथ आर ट्रिपल जीरो और आर जीरो जीरो वन इफ इट इज क्लासिक यूटिलिटी देन यू कैन यूज आर ट्रिपल जीरो एंड आर डबल जीरो वन इफ इट इज ब्रीम इट इज एस ट्रिपल जीरो दैट इज एक्सटेंडेड फाइव का एस ट्रिपल जीरो और एस डबल जीरो वन इफ इट इज पब्लिक सेक्टर देन पी ट्रिपल जीरो एंड पी डबल जीरो वन सो वट एवर मेन सब कम्बिनेशन यू डू यू असाइन देयर एलंग विद द जी एल अकाउंट यू नीड टू मैनुअली पास इट हियर देन अगेन आई नीड टू एंटर द सी ओ अकाउंट असाइनमेंट विच इज माई कॉस्ट सेंटर एंड हियर आई एम एंटरिंग माई amount so generally for a customer the accounting entry is business partner or contract account debit and revenue gl will be created so i have entered this minus sign you don't need to enter the debit credit indicator but you do need to enter the minus sign so here unlike the fico bapi you don't need to enter the amount separately remember in fico there was a something called currency something so there we had to enter the amount separately here you can enter the amount within the partner position and gl position so in the partner position this is my amount and similarly in the gl position i have entered my amount here so that's it three structures you need to fill everything is fine now i'm going to execute so again it has generated the document number but you will not find the document because i haven't executed the commit so then come back and click on execute now the commit has taken place now you can see the document number slash o f p e 3 i should have taken the document number i think 5 double it was the last three digits yes this is my document see the details here this is my first i'll show you the header item so this is my header item the recon key that i have passed everything is copied document type and currency then this is my bp item which is dfkk op structure business partner contract account i did not enter any contract main sub combination amount due date then company code and gl account and similarly about the gl item if i get inside i see the gl account and i see the cost center so that's how you can use the standard sb bapi to post financial document both in fica and fico Thanks for watching this video. We'll catch up again with another SAP tutorial video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to Debit Credit Nation. We'll see you again. Thank you so much.